Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards. I'm an education specialist with the museum. And today we're going to look at this screen print, print by John Carsman. First, I'd like to get your initial impressions of this piece. What words come to mind as you look at it? Vibrant, intense, rhythmic, maybe nostalgic? These are all words that have been used to describe Carsman's work. John Carsman was born in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania in 1944. By the time he was in kindergarten, he was showing a very strong interest in drawing and liked the use of color. His parents um, obtained private drawing lessons for him when he was eight. And in high school, he was being tutored by the chair of the high school art department. This teacher liked to take groups of students on painting excursions. So they would venture out of the school into nature and paint and draw things that they were observing around them. And this may have planted a seed for Karsman. Um, his work tends to be about the, the scenes around him where he's living at the time. After high school, he attended Wayne State for a year and then transferred to Wilkes College where he earned a, a Bachelor's of Arts in Art Education. Also began exhibiting work during his undergrad years. He got a Master's in Art Education from New York University. And so by the second half of the 60s and into the 70s, he was fully ensconced in the New York art world. He was living in lower Manhattan, had a studio there, was teaching in Harlem, and was already working with galleries to represent him. Throughout his career, his art was shown all across the United States and in other countries. And in sometimes, some years, such diverse locations as Paris and Santa Fe. Uh, Carsman's work was collected by over 80 different museums and corporate collections. We lost Carsman at a young age. He died in 1987 at the age of 43. Let's transition into looking at his pieces and talk a little bit about um, the characteristics and his uh, process. Um, this piece here in the center is called Lagoon. It's a screen print made in 1980. And Carsman said he liked to imagine things in black and white. It helped him break them down and then put them back together, adding little bits of himself. That's a quote from him. Uh, so I copied this image over here in black and white. And I uh, thought it might help us see where he's getting his shading and the dark uh, parts of the image. So you see very dark parts, you see the very light white parts, and then in the center, the, all the grays. And that is where um, his color shows up. So that may be how he's visualizing it. I also want you to think about light versus shadow when you look at his work those very white light parts, and then the very, very dark shadows are black. And then within those shadows, he adds these little bits of vibrant color, in this case, this red-orange color. So this vibrancy about his work. And he did like to work from photographs, so perhaps he took a photograph when he was in Florida and then worked from there. But he likes to go beyond the, the realism of the photograph, so not, not sticking true to the scene, but adding to it, um, making um, things more vibrant and maybe a little bit more um, fantastical um, with his color choices. So keeping some of those things in mind, let's look at our featured screen print. It was made in 1979. And as I said, he worked from photographs. Um, one commentator said about his work that it was an interesting synthesis of photographic, art historical and personal resources. So I kind of like to break that down. So photographic, he does work from photographs. And I put a photograph here of a residential street in Pennsylvania. It's not one that he worked from, but you can see the architecture that he's seen in, in um, Pennsylvania. Most of his artwork is regional Pennsylvania work. Um, he liked Victorian homes to paint them. He liked to create, um, paint overgrown gardens. 
small towns, winding pathways and roadways. So if you're thinking about working from a photograph, he gets in the basic elements, but then he does something different. So he's and he's artistically um, accurate with um, perspectives and um, way he creates lines and shapes. Um, he does that, but he doesn't stay true to the photo. He adds more. And that's where those personal resources come in. That commentator was speaking to um, the way Carsman would use his personal memories and the feelings that he had when he was experiencing these scenes and looking at these objects. And maybe he'd been walking by with a group of friends and he captured this scene in his mind. And so that's um, what he adds to make it uniquely his. So we're still gonna stay looking at the screen print, but I want um, you to have some time to break it down. So first let's think about where does he have light and shadow? does he do um, with color, this vibrancy of color um, with those shadows? So where does he have vibrancy? And then perhaps some moodiness, some nostalgia that he throws in there. And then observe where he takes that realism and goes a little bit farther, extends it out into something almost a little fantasy-like. And, and where do you see that? Is it his choice of colors? Is it some shapes he's using? Um, where do you observe that difference from realism to something a little extra? I have a quote here on the screen. It says, I want to give you a feel of what it's like to be there when I was. So how do you feel about it? Um, if you were standing there, what, what feelings does it evoke in you? Do you have memories of being in a place like this? Um, maybe looking at gardens that are growing or overgrown and um, what comes to mind for you. And then the last thing I'd like you to consider is the name. I haven't told you the name of this piece yet. It's called Frenzy. Does that influence how you feel about the piece? Does it reinforce what you were already feeling or add something extra to your thoughts? I hope you enjoyed looking at these screen prints by John Carsman and look forward to you joining us again for another Art Bite. Thank you.